the one animal that's most associated with Canada is definitely the beaver. In fact, in 1975, Canada officially recognized this large rodent as a national symbol. Beavers live in freshwater systems all across Canada. They can be found on our nickel and in countless logos across the country too. Beavers may be the most prepared creature in the wilderness. They have so many built-in tools for survival. Their eyes have clear goggle-like eyelids for underwater protection. Their orange teeth are like self-sharpening chisels which continue to grow throughout life and are extra strong thanks to enamel rich in iron. They have a split toenail on each hind foot that acts as a comb for grooming their coats. They have valves in their ears and nose that close and fur-lined lips behind their teeth for chewing underwater. They have a paddle-shaped tail which works like a rudder, helps them balance and also acts as a safety alarm when it's loudly slapped on the surface of the water. The outer layer of their fur is like a raincoat and the inner layer like a winter coat. They have flipper-like hind feet for swimming and can hold their breath for 15 minutes. Beavers also produce castorium oil that they use to waterproof their coats and mark the boundaries of their territory. I'd have to have all this gear to be as prepared as a beaver. The beaver's ability to alter the natural landscape is second only to that of humans. Using wood from trees they cut down with their teeth, beavers will build dams to block running water, in turn creating large ponds or even lakes. If many generations of beavers work together to build a dam, it could be over 800 meters long. That's the length of eight football fields. They also construct homes called lodges out of branches and mud. While some beavers do choose to create a den by burrowing into a stream bank, their more obvious and safe accommodations look like that big pile of sticks. It has holes for ventilation, a ledge inside for keeping dry, and several underwater entrances for added safety. It's built strong enough to even keep a bear out. Once their home is built, an adult beaver couple will start their family, producing a litter of one to six kits each spring for the rest of their reproductive lives. The young, which are born bright-eyed and fully furred, will stay with the rest of their family for two years and will help out by babysitting their younger siblings. Beavers are herbivores and will eat the buds, leaves and bark of trees like willow, aspen, maple and birch, as well as aquatic plants like water lilies. Because beavers are active year-round, they need to store a buffet of branches underwater for easy access from their lodge in the winter when the water surface freezes. Beavers are safest from predation when they're in the water or in their lodge, where their only major aquatic predator is the river otter. Out of the water, beavers are not very fast or agile and may fall prey to wolves, wolverines, cougars, coyotes, lynx, and bears. Beavers have played a very prominent role throughout history in Canada. Beavers have been providing indigenous peoples across the country with a rich source of protein and warm fur for thousands of years. The beaver is a symbol of hard work, determination, and resourcefulness for indigenous nations across Canada, for many of whom it is a respected totem or clan. In the early 17th century, the beaver became the first terrestrial resource exploited by Europeans in what is now Canada. The newcomers started on the east coast and worked their way west and north in search of fur, mostly for making high fashion hats. The Europeans formed relationships with indigenous peoples to gain access to a supply of beaver pelts and together they developed what is known as the fur trade. As it opened up the country to exploration and settlement, the fur trade created both friendships and friction between Europeans and their respective indigenous allies. Excessive harvesting resulted in the elimination of the beaver from many places in Canada by the end of the 1800s. Beavers are more plentiful now, and although their natural damming behavior does create wetland habitat for other species, it can also lead to flooding of roads and communities. Water regulating devices can be installed at beaver dams to allow humans and beavers to live harmoniously in shared areas. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and see it.